This is a fun one. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this was a report by ProPublica, and uh, Russell read the entire original report. I didn't have a chance to read the entire thing, but I certainly got the gist of it. And they put out a Twitter thread here revealing that for decades, Justice Clarence Thomas has secretly accepted luxury trips from a major Republican donor, newly obtained documents and interviews show. The extent and frequency of these apparent gifts to Thomas has no known precedent in modern SCOTUS history. They did a kind of Twitter files type thread on this. We yes, will read the which first. It's interesting that they chose to do that. Yeah, that that's the new thing, man. Taibbi, yep. Schellenberger, they're yep. trailblazers. Indeed. Um, Thomas has publicly presented himself as an everyman with modest tastes. In this documentary about the justice, he waxes nostalgic about his fondness for Walmart parking lots. We have to play this. This is hilarious. Hold on. Let me get... You know, Especially in light of what comes here, after. But. Well, yeah. Th right. This is an expose on him taking luxury trips on a GOP donor's dime. You know, I don't have any problem with going to Europe, but I prefer the United States. <laughs> And I prefer seeing the regular parts of the United States. I prefer going across the rural area. No, this is way better than I prefer Prague. the RV parks. I Venice. prefer the Walmart parking lots to Walmart parking lots and things like yeah. that. There's something you know. They say the Parthenon is nice. I say, give me a Walmart I, parking I said, lot any day. I, <laughs> especially the one in Duluth. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one's my favorite. <laughs> Take the Coliseum and shove it up your ass. Normal to me about it. I come from regular stock, and I prefer that. I right, mean, right, exactly. Uh, he's a regular guy. Regular guy, right? He's just like the rest of us. <laughs> but Thomas's friendship with Dallas-based real estate magnate Harlan Crow has allowed him to repeatedly experience luxuries well beyond his means. He's vacationed on Crow's 162-foot super yacht around the globe and flies on Crow's Bombardier Global 5000 jet. There's no audio on this video, but here's the private jet maybe, that he's maybe, flown maybe, on. Maybe it's parked at a Walmart. Yeah, right. <laughs> it leaves that outside a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> hey, is there enough room in here to make a runway out of? Here. <laughs> In June 2019, Thomas boarded Crow's private jet to Indonesia for nine days of island hopping on Crow's yacht. Had Thomas chartered the jet and yacht himself, it could have cost him over $500,000. Well, apparently he got over his uh, reticence about beaches. Right. Yes, yes, indeed. Indeed. It wasn't Thomas's first time on Crow's yacht, the Michaela Rose. I'm assuming that's what that's how you say that. Uh, he went on a river day trip in Savannah, Georgia, and an extended cruise in New Zealand roughly a decade ago. There's that super yacht there basking in the sun. Mm -hmm. yeah. While sailing around New Zealand with Crow, Thomas autographed a copy of his memoir as a gift for a crew member. Thank you so much for all your hard work on a New Zealand adventure reads the inscription barely had the yacht landed before said memoir appeared on ebay <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the justice has gone with crow to the bohemian grove of course of the course, exclusive right. the exclusive California all-male retreat and to Crow's sprawling Texas ranch. Every summer, Thomas typically spends about a week at Camp Top Ridge, Crow's private resort in the Adirondacks. And this is my favorite. This is the last that we'll read. Inside this resort, inside Top Ridge, hangs a photorealistic painting of one of Thomas's visits to the 105-acre property in remote upstate New York. The painting shows Thomas enjoying a cigar alongside Crow and chatting with other conservative power brokers like Leonard Leo. There's the painting of Clarence Thomas chilling out, having some cigars with the oligarchs who fund his vacations. Talk about brazen. This is like if OJ had a painting of him sniffing coke off a horse tits with Judge Ito, right? After the <laughs> after the verdict is hung out, right? <laughs> it's like, talk about right, undue influence, right? There you have it. Um, all right. So a couple of a couple of interesting points from the rest of the article. So this may be in violation of a post Watergate law, but they're really not sure if it is illegal. Um, there are guidelines for what federal judges are supposed to do. 
um, for lower federal judges below the Supreme Court level. Uh, according to Roberts, they use that as a kind of guideline, but it doesn't seem that there's any mechanism for penalizing Supreme Court justices for this kind of behavior. It doesn't seem that there's any law exactly. No, it seems like you'd have to impeach him, which is not going to have to impeach them. Right. 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 Um, so technically you can do this. You just have to be an incredibly low class piece of shit to do it, <laughs> which he is which and he has is. always been and has always been. Right. All right. I, I mean, I, he's I am beyond sure, I am sure Anita idea. Hill is not is not surprised by this. Well, well, yeah. I mean, his legal decisions have never reflected anything other than who put him in power. Like right. I, he's never gone off script. Whatever wealthy, powerful Republicans want, that's his decision. Right. Right. Yeah. No. I mean, he's just pretty brazen about that. And you know, look, there are conservative judges, Brett Kavanaugh, Amy Coney Barrett. Even they, even uh, Gorsuch uh, ruled in Stephen Donziger's favor. Obviously, it was a minority right. opinion, but right. he penned right. the opposition uh, to that. And so, you know. Most Supreme Court justices, even when they are these right wing sort of ideologues, they they take seriously their position as the arbiters in the land's highest court. Like they there there is some right. sort of higher right. purpose that they right. serve where they right. won't rule party line every time. Right. Thomas is just a straight up hack no. and always has right. been. Yeah. Right. He has uh, uh, look even um, uh, Scalia. He actually believed in that shit. It, oh yeah, he, he well, truly was a constitutional originalist, he, he, and that was how he ruled. This is—it's uh, obviously surprising in in its brazenness, and it's it's surprising that it took this long for this to come out. Um, but yeah, I mean, look that that just says it all right there, right? I mean, you have these mega donors literally just out. I mean, they're bribing. They're bribing a judge, basically. I mean, that's what they're doing. Maybe there's a loophole they found around getting caught for it or getting penalized for it. Or maybe the maybe there's a gap in the law somewhere that allows them to do that without going to jail. But it is open bribery. I don't see there. I, I don't know how you can think of that in any other way. Please clap.